Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to be going over uh, calculations including if and case in Tableau. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, so first to create a calculation if you don't know just right click on something or in some white space and then go to create calculated field and then it doesn't matter what you name the calculation uh, here because we're not going to use that. So to do an if statement, basically you start with if. And if we look up over here in the reference, so we can look up if, and you can see it gives us some syntax here. So if, and then this is an expression, then you put something there, and then you can also put in optionally else if, then, and else, and then you have to put an end at the end. So what do they mean by expression? So this means anything that evaluates to true or false. So in, for instance, if I wanted to look at, let's say, quantity, if the quantity is greater than 1, then we could put in some sort of identifier um, uh, more than 1, something like that. And if we had some other conditions, then we put in an else if. So the things you can look for, you can look for uh, is a value greater than, equal to, less than, or equal to, etc. You can look for uh, is null. So that will look for is a certain uh, measure null or not. So you, this would look at whether the quantity uh, in your Excel or your database or wherever your data is coming from is uh, blank. You can look at um, basically anything like that. And then you put in an else at the end for anything that doesn't evaluate any other ones. So let's say, let's change this a little bit. So let's say quantity greater than five, we're going to say uh, ordered a lot. And then if the quantity is greater than 3, then we'll say order a bit. And then everything else, I don't need the quantity there, sorry. Then uh, ordered not much. And then put the end. And when you see the calculation is valid here, then you know you've written a correct statement. Um, so if I take off the end, you'll see uh, it'll say it contains some errors, and it'll give you an explanation if you click on this uh, to what the error is. Now, just because it doesn't have any errors doesn't mean it does exactly what you want it to do. It's going to follow the logic that you applied to it. So if we go ahead and click OK, you'll see we got the new calculation here. It's got the little equal sign to let you know it's a calculation. You can pull it in, and you can see uh, it's gone into three buckets that I've specified. Now, in the same way, I could do a case statement, uh, and it would look a little bit ne neater in this case. So if I do case, and I'll just pull up the syntax here, so you can see it's so a case, and then you put in an expression, uh, when, value, then this, etc. So it's very similar. Uh, the if is a little bit more flexible. So the case is if I put in quantity, so it's going to look to evaluate quantity, and when is kind of the different conditions. So if it's, it's 5, then I can say ordered a lot. when 4, then ordered a bunch, and then there's an else, just like every lengthy if, and then I can just say ordered some other quantity. And then you have to do end again. And I forgot to put the quotation mark to end that, so that's why it gave me that error. So now it says the calculation is valid, and I'll put this as 
calculation one, so I'm going to actually replace this one. Just to give you an example, and you can see ordered a bunch, ordered a lot, ordered some other quantity. So you can only uh, evaluate what this quantity field is when you're using a case, whereas when you're using an if, you can look at any conditions you want and it will do them in the order that you specify. So that's how you do if and case statements in Tableau. I hope you guys learned something. Thank you very much.